And this question comes back to what you said about training people iteratively to do this, but I can imagine, it feels to me that with unsymbolized thinking, people would often feel like they need to describe that as inner speech. They might confuse those. Do you, do you see that happening? Let's say I'm imagining the hamburger and the hot dog, and you say, what were you thinking just then? And I might put it into speech, even if it wasn't actually how I experienced it. That's what generally happens. So the, the, the typical pattern is that somebody says, I talk to myself all the time. And, I, and so I said, well, that may very well be true, but let's, let's discover that. So let, and the first beep was, I, you, you would say, say, I was saying to myself, I should go have a hamburger. And I said, well, what exactly were the words that you were saying? And you, and you would say, I think I'd like to have a hamburger. And I would point out, well, those are not exactly the same words. The first set of words was, I should go get a hamburger. And the other one was, I would like to have a hamburger. Those are not exactly the same words. And I'm interested in words. So when you, if you have words, I'd like to know exactly what those words are. And you would say, oh, that seems fair. If, he's, if I'm saying what the words are, I'll, I'll tell him then. And then the second day, you would come back and, and, and say, I was saying to myself that I should turn up the thermostat. And I would say, well, what are you saying to yourself? And you would say, well, the room was cold. And so I think I, I, was, uh, I was saying to myself that I should uh, put it up to 76 degrees. And I would say, well, you know, 76 degrees is a little bit different from I'm being cold. And what were those words? And then on the third day, you would come back and you would say, you know, I've been telling you all these things about words, but they're not really words. But it takes, the, it takes three days or four or five of careful interviewing before the typical person can say, well, you know, there really weren't words there. People have the notion, what I call the presupposition, that words are present. <laughs> 